I want to talk about a mezuzah. Mezuzah is one of the symbols of a Jewish home. Uh, in Hebrew, the word mezuzah stands for the sides of the door. But uh, that's the Hebrew word mezuzah means the side of the door. But in fact, um, this is a mezuzah as well. It's a mezuzah case. Uh, we do this to fulfill a commandment in the Shema, one of our most important prayers, that says, you, have, you shall remember these words and put them on the doorpost of your house. So we do it. We traditionally put a mezuzah on the doorpost of your house, the doors going to the outside. Some people put them in the inside of the house as well, but uh, never into a bathroom or a storage area. Um, the mezuzah is, is placed in an interesting way. It's, first of all, let me explain to you the mezuzah. The mezuzah. This is a mezuzah case. It can be made of any material. This one is of wood, but it can be of glass, of metal. Um, inside, it has a space for the prayer. In the prayer, there's a little piece of paper or a pergament of, that has, it goes inside, this little... And here you have another one that's unrolled. You can see it's normally, traditionally, to be made of animal parchment. It's parchment, but in my opinion, it could be made of a paper or a photocopy as well, since uh, what's important is the words, the message. Uh, and as I said, it has the Shema. Um, we place it in a very unique way in our homes. We place it in a door, we put it two-thirds of the way and we place it facing inside, the top facing inside as, as we walk in, for instance from the street to our home or in our home if we are placing a mezuzah we place it in the most common way as we walk in we put it on the right side two-thirds of the way and incline. The mezuzah is a unique thing because um, some rabbinic authorities said you should put it vertical. Some rabbinic authorities said you should put horizontal. And uh, after much discussion they decided to put it halfway to teach us that in a home, in a Jewish home, any home, you should seek not to have one way or another way but to find compromise. And that's one of the many lessons the Torah teaches us, the mezuzah teaches us. The, um, I like to tell my students that having a mezuzah in the front door serves to remind us to live by the wisdom in the Torah, which means that it doesn't matter what we do when we go outside of the home, and sometimes we have to be harsher than we want outside of the home. When we come into our homes, we should be um, kind and seek compromise to raise good and wonderful families. Another unique thing about the mezuzah is that normally we have here a Hebrew letter, a shin, and shin stands for Shaddai, that's one of God's names, and the word Shaddai would be an acrostic for Shomer Dlatot Israel, the keeper of the doors of Israel. Um, I personally, and liberal Judaism rejects the idea that there is any magical uh, qualities to, to the mezuzah, but rather it's a symbol, and the, the real magic doesn't happen by having the proper mezuzah or the proper uh, parchment, but rather by having the proper attitude. Um, when we place a mezuzah, we say a special prayer, and the prayer is you put the mezuzah, and then you nail the first, the top one, and you say a blessing. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kidishanu bemitzvotav, vetzivanu ligbu mezuzah. We praise you, eternal our God, ruler of the, of the universe, who sanctifies us with commandments and commanded us to affix the mezuzah, and then we nail, you put the second nail, and you say the second and final blessing, which is a Shecheyano, Jewish prayer for all happy occasions. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Shecheyano, vekiemano, vehigiano, lazman hazeh. We praise you, eternal God, ruler of the universe, who has kept us alive, sustained us, and brought us to this joyous time.